Hello there. As I mentioned, we're going to start learning how to access objects dynamically on the stage using arrays. The first thing, though, is we have to learn how to loop through the objects in an array using the for statement that we, that we learned before. So we're, let's work with the example array that we already had, and let's actually loop through each item and then output them individually through a loop. So let's take a look here. We have our original array, which contains our four names. I want to iterate through each item of that loop and output each item one at a time. Now, I could go in and say, trace my array element 0, element 1, element 2, element 3. But if we have a list of objects that could be dozens or even hundreds of objects long, that can get really, uh, really uh, confusing. So we can use a for statement to build a loop that will go through each element of the array. So let's actually build that together step by step. We create the loop with the for statement. So after for, we need to create our iterator. So we're going to create var i, which is going to be a number. We're going to set that equal to 0. We set it equal to 0 because we're going to actually use i throughout the loop to represent that id, or that element number, when we access our array elements through the bracket notation. Next, I need to create my condition that will actually uh, validate whether or not we have end, uh, come to the end of the number of objects inside of the array. So we're going to ask that i must be less than the length or total number of items in the array. So if the total length of the items here is 4, and i would then start with 0, we'd have 0, 1, 2, 3. But how do we get that length itself? Well, luckily, ActionScript gives us a property called length, which we can use to get and actually extract the number of items that are in the array itself. So we're going to ask that i always be less than my array length. Next, we need to then provide the, uh, how we're, the actual step, how we're going to be modifying the iterator. So we're just going to do the increment operator here. OK, so let's create our line, and let's, uh, let's create our, our code bracket, and then let's just do a quick trace statement. And we're going to trace my array. But now, instead of defining a specific number, we're going to use our variable, or our iterator here, i. And we'll close our code bracket. So let's actually run this and see what happens. You'll see on our output panel, we have a single object on every single line. What's happening is the i variable, or our iterator, is starting at 0. And we're using that to access each item inside of the array. So we start with 0, then 1, then 2, then 3. Let's actually uh, modify line 6 just to illustrate this a little bit more. So let's actually output i, and then we'll then add a short little string, and then we'll then append at the end of that the actual element itself. So if I run this again, now you see element 0, Doug, 1, Mike, 2, Janet, and 3 is Sarah. It doesn't go to 4 because the actual length is being returned as myArray.length. So using this, using the length property of the array, we can then build a loop that will then take us through each single item. What we're going to do in the next video is actually use this looping mechanism to access different items on the stage.